Good morning to all my dear children. So let us continue with the chapter Resources and Development. Today we would study about classification of soil. Based on their physical and chemical properties, age, texture and color, soils in India can be classified as Alluvial soil, black soil, red and yellow soil, laterite soil, arid soil and forest soil. So let us study about these soils in detail. The northern plains of India are made up of fertile alluvial soil which extends to Gujarat and Rajasthan through a narrow corridor formed by Indus, Ganga and Brahmaputra river system. This soil is also found in eastern coastal plains and deltas of Godavari, Mahanadi, Krishna and Kaveri river. Elevel soil is a mixture of sand, silt and clay. The new alluvial soil is khadar found in the Gangetic Plains and has small particles and has a fine texture. The old alluvial soil called Bangar is found near the river valleys and are coarser and contain more pieces of rock called kankar. You can see kankar in the picture. In other words, we can say that khadar is more fertile than bangar. Elevel soil is rich in potash, phosphoric acid and lime. This soil is idle for the growth of sugarcane, wheat, rice, pulses, etc. Due to the richness of soil, the regions of alluvial soil are densely populated and the level of cultivation is high. So here you can see I have summarized the features of alluvial soil. A very important question from both point of view. Here I have also give you, given you differences between khadar and bangar. Then comes to black soil. Black soil also known as rigor is found in the Deccan plateau and spread over Maharashtra, Saurashtra, Malwa and Madhya Pradesh. Black soil is found by the change in the climatic conditions and withering of volcanic rocks found in this region. Black soil is rich in calcium carbonate, potash, magnesium and lime. This soil also has good water retention properties due to the fine clay particles. However, it is poor in phosphorus, which is a very important nutrient in soil. This type of soil has to be immediately tilted after the first shower of monsoon to prevent it from getting sticky. This soil is ideally suited for the cultivation of cotton and is also known as black cotton soil. So here you can see I have summarized the characteristics of black soil. Last but not the least, your assignment for today. Thank you.